Hi, this is Jimmy, and I want to share about a topic on maturity. And I want to share from the perspective of the Bible, at least my interpretation of the Bible based on what I've learned and studied so far. And I think that it's important to really look into this topic or subject on maturity because it will be demonstrated in every area of our life. It will influence how we think and how we respond to people, how we make decisions and virtually every aspect of our life. So why is this thing called maturity? To me maturity is has to do all the way back to the beginning of the God um, you know the Bible where they have this Garden of Eden and Adam and Eve were given two trees and one is the tree of knowledge of good and evil the other one is the tree of life and tree of knowledge and good and evil as I learned from some uh, church teachings that it re can refer to the law um, you know, the do's and don'ts it's synonymous with the Ten Commandments and the other tree, tree of life is equivalent to or is symbolic of Jesus Christ and that's our true self within so the question that we ask or we need to ask ourselves every day is do we live by the tree of knowledge of good and evil or do we live by the tree of life so every day we are given these two choices choose life or death because tree of knowledge and good and evil it ultimately it delivers death uh, not really not so much, not only physically but also um, psychologically, um, metaphorically, um, I hope to come to that. But basically, to make things simple, let's talk about, let's shorten the phrase, tree of knowledge and good and evil is referring to the law, tree of life is referring to grace. The law is um, it demands, it tells you what to do, what not to do. Like the Ten Commandments, you shall not kill, you shall not commit this and that. Whereas grace is about giving. And giving is God or our higher self say, I will do this for you, I will do that for you, I will be your God and watch over you. So things like that. So every day do we live by the law or do we believe by grace? And how does that uh, translate into maturity? In the New Testament, Paul wrote to Timothy saying that the law is given to those who are, uh, I will paraphrase because I can't remember exactly the words, the law is for those who are unrighteous. The law is for those who are immature. That is in Galatians. The Galatians says that the children of Israel in the Old Testament, they were not sons, they were servants and they lived by the law. And because of that, they are weak and they are immature. They have not come to a full maturity. They need to be told what to do, what not to do, by outward external regulations and rules. And that's what we do to children. Because children, when we see them um, growing up, they don't really know how to make decisions. So we have to guide them, we have to give them rules and boundaries so that they will know how to act appropriately in a way that don't harm themselves or others. So similarly, the law in the Old Testament served as that form of guidance, guardianship, because they are still immature and they need some kind of outward regulations in order to function so-called optimally, optimally and humanly and humanely. Whereas grace is, is had to do with being guided from within. Grace is when we somehow experience a heart transformation, we are transformed, we are moved, we are touched by the love of God which is unconditional and which is endless, which is uh, infinite, expanding, inclusive because God loved the world, so loved the world 
so that encompasses everyone regardless of their age their nationality their gender their sexual orientation and there's no discrimination when it comes to the God kind of love and we operate by that love guiding us from within then we will find that we don't need the law outside to tell us what to do we simply love our neighbor as ourselves so we start with self love and then once we know how we love ourselves we can love others the way we love ourselves and Paul defined love as the fulfillment of the law so we don't need to be too concerned about the, the nitty gritty okay uh, I must do this I must not do that we do not need to refer to a long list of laws and regulations anymore to know how to conduct ourselves we simply go by the love within our heart and we are guided by love so that is maturity we are become we have become sons we have attained sonship once we profess to live by love and to show that to walk the talk um, we may not succeed all the time but I would say it's a process it's a process of maturity so it doesn't mean that once we become mature sons and daughters of God we automatically become perfect you know we will not it's not as if we will not make mistakes we will not uh, say things that may harm ourselves and others so we may still forget especially if we forget who we are who we truly are then we will not be able to, to act as uh, the sons and daughters of God but when we remember who we really are we will indeed walk by grace we will not need any external regulations so that's maturity and one reason I say I want to talk about this is I see this often in countries in governments like in the case of Singapore Singapore was so called uh, became independent in 1965 and back then Singapore was a very young country and it needs a lot of laws and rules and regulations to keep the people in place to tell the people what to do what not to do and in the sense it also made people too compliant and submissive to authorities so sometimes the law can be too too uh, overbearing to the point that the people became sheep and uh, easily manipulated by the politicians uh, I'm not saying all of them do that but to a certain extent this has been happening to, and by the 90s in the 1990s people really wanted to have a more to have more freedom to really think for themselves and not having the the, the so-called powers that be up there to, to tell them what to do and I think that shows a little bit of maturity just like children when they grow up they become teenagers they become more rebellious not because they naturally are rebellious not because they want to do so-called bad things but because they have reached a certain age a certain level of maturity where they really feel ready to make decisions on what is best for themselves and that's what happening to Singapore as well so right now it's 2018 and I think we are kind of um, we are celebrating the 50, 53, 53rd birthday so after 53 years of independence wouldn't you say that Singapore has reached a certain level of maturity at least as a collective as it, so I think this is where we need to acknowledge the fact that we don't need to be too bogged down by rules and regulation I would say more and more people I won't say how many but more and more people are awakening to our innate power to our to the, to the love that guiding our hearts to really do what is really what is right for us and for others and we don't need the authorities to keep coming and breathing down the nets coming hard of us and breathing down our nets to tell us what to do and this is right that is wrong and I think we are beyond that we have reached a certain level of maturity 
uh, really hope that people will also be in a position where they feel ready to take responsibility because with great freedom comes great responsibility so are we ready for that to love our neighbor as ourselves and not to depend on our rules anymore not to depend on law and punishment and so that is what I want to share and that I hope more people will rise up and claim that power and walk in that responsibility and so that we can love our neighbor as ourselves and not be stifled in any way by this big uh, there's a term for it, I can't remember, I think it's a psychoanalytical term by this law, because the law can be uh, the, yeah, the, big, the big brother effect it's like we are being watched, we are being monitored, we are being manipulated and I think people are really crying out for that freedom to be free from being monitored to do what we want but at the same time what our heart desire truly is to live in freedom in such a way that we can love ourselves and others so thank you for listening and I'll see you next time bye